welcome here, wicked weed? Hell no! Not even a little bit! Mate, I'm not buying that shampoo again.
the town street for altitude sickness. I did not think of that. Magical.
all once again. Very large. See, that's what I like about you. Your attention to detail. My fairy whiskers were telling me this next bean bloom is gonna take a more hands-on approach. Gonna need you to watch my back on this one. Come on! This parasite thing is feeding on the life energy of the beanstalk. And I ain't having that. This big, beautiful beanstalk must be protected. And the people, too, right? Oh, yeah, them, too. Okay. There it is. Now keep those things off me. It's time for... Let's go! <laughs> Ooh, that's a long way down to Wadachi. I hope you got buns of steel. Now get to sleep! Okay? Wouldn't want to dance. 
Now get in there and whip that parasite's parasitic butt. I'll get you out of there when it's over. That nasty, nasty, big little mushroom monster awaits. Hello. <laughs> was a fascinating creature, actually. The beanstalk is safe, thanks to you. What about the people? Right, right, them too. That's also good. Anyway, thanks for your help. Remember, only you can prevent sporous spires. With that, the corruption was no more. And the fairy punch father was free to, you know, go commune with other nature in different places and... Let's be honest, probably punch stuff, because it's, uh, kind of his jam. Was complete!
Whoop. Poisonous seaweed blocks your path. Your quest is waylaid until you can find a way past it. Help me advance science. I see your path is blocked by poisonous seaweed. Usually not a problem if you can just swim over it. Good thing I am the greatest alchemist alive. Or at least the greatest in my family. The solution is my sea kelp solution. It will melt them away! Instead of melting, the seaweed turns to stone! Was it supposed to turn to stone? Blast and fiddlesticks! The solution is not ready. I need the essence of pure snot. Go to the nearby cave and retrieve it for me. Honestly, sweat's probably the best case scenario.
One essence of pure snot. Enjoy. Perfection itself. With this, I can complete the solution. Now, use this improved sea kelp solution on the seaweed blocking your way. I am the greatest alchemist alive. The seaweed melts away, clearing the path. Fizzy Wilkins! So the idiots continued their long, pointless quest, traipsing through the wasteland they made, crushing priceless coral reefs under their boots. The exposed seabed reveals its hidden treasures to you. There was a lot of junk and gunk in the ocean. A lot of flotsam. Flotsam? Are you sure it's not jetsam? Flotsam is stuff that fell off. Jetsam is stuff that got thrown off. I don't even have a snappy comeback. That's just interesting. Sometimes learning can be fun. Do you see the destruction she leaves in her wake? A wasteland of broken toys, wondering why their creator has forsaken them. But I guess it's all just set dressing to you, Fate Maker. You keep doing you. If only you could ask all the fish you just vaporized if they feel brought together by fate. Your way, and a gentleman stands just before it. A gentleman wearing a pirate hat. Oh, but he's not just any pirate. He's a skeleton pirate! Skeleton! Kill it! No, 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 no. Hey, hey, he is not a pirate. Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a special boy. I'll be the judge of that. I need to get through here. Aye, you be wanting to just waltz right through the gates of the briny shell, are ye? Would you be speaking to Bones Threewood, cursed protector of the Southern Gate, and I say... Sure. Oh, that was quite simple. Of course it'll do ye no good. The Nerpen Gate is guarded by a vengeful. Murderous, gorgeous buccaneer known as Chartreuse the Chance. He'll never let you through. Unless. <laughs> would you be willing to help me on a quest? Oh, 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 pirate quest! It's a pirate quest! Valentine, do you want to go on the pirate quest? Oh, I really, really do. Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome to the crew! 
But there'll be no pirate quest without Polly, me faithful bird Munculus. A terrible fate befell her, and we be needing to put her pieces back together. <laughs> Beware, crew. The sea wargs are restless since the ocean were obliterated. We don't want to run afoul of Moly Dick, fighter of crews, scourge of salt and sand. I'm about to do that. Polly's eye patch. Paradoxically, it helps her see where to go. <laughs> Those be the navigational flappers. Yeah. Polly high in the air to spot sails on what use the horizon. Now crack some kite. We need that squawker. Back in business. Falcon is pure. Wanna cross flies with the best, do ya? Beacon. 
can peek all right. She'll be squawking in no time. She be nearly complete. All that's left is her polymagical core. She be powered by soul energy, naturally. What was that? As I feared, tis Mobley Dick, aforementioned fighter of crews, scourge of salt and sand. Be careful. and meticulous <clears throat> craftsmanship. But I never let that get in me way. Slap the squawker on her! Chance and open the Nerpin gate. He needs the help of me former crew. Now sniff him out, Ooh. Polly! Sniff him out! Sniff him out! Chartreuse Lachance ain't just a mighty pirate. He's unkillable. There's a rare curse upon his crew. Tis known as Blot Armor. I know it well, for it be the same curse I bear. We'll be needing more than guns and ships to defeat him. This away! This away! Like we <laughs> but we can't go dry or the songs are caught up. Frogs say it don't taste good. But we tried all day in the same city. That be the first mate and his fellows. They'll never listen to you if you don't start a fight with them first. Challenge him to a duel. A grub like Come on, put your tubes up. Ha! Hear that, lads? The hero wants to fight! <laughs> Twould uh, be a fair fight for uh, you! Easy! We've got plot armor! Plus me, Grogmug still pull up strictly non-alcoholic brew. I'm straight. Okay, so how do we get this guy to fight? Hup-E! Pirate Rule 27 b Spill Raw must be a bit. Break his mug! <laughs> but we tried all day in the sun. Nah. You've run afoul of Pirate Rule 27B. Now that's a serious breach of decorum. You trying to pick a point with us, Hailer? Uh, of course I am. Haven't you been paying attention? Why should I? I bet you fight like a dairy farmer. <gasps> <gasps> Wait, why are we gasping? Because you've just been challenged to a duel of disses. It's the pirate way. <laughs> now we gotta hit him with the cutness, meanness, wake up in a cold sweat 20 years later as comeback, or we lose the duel. We uh. gonna need options. Uh. Yeah. 
Your mother's probably a lovely lady, but I think she would disapprove of your current profession. No one talks about Deborah first mate like that! Jorgen Kjellhorn! Blasted. Plunder port with a small iron power attack. From your vantage point on the seafloor, it is a spy. The whole town of pirates? I love this. Why are you so into pirates? They're just so free. You know, they take their ships from port to port, answering to no one, searching for fortune and infamy. Isn't that exactly what we do, just in space? Space pirates. <laughs> Whoa! I think we lost him. What? That was supposed to be impossible! Well 
done. Get in the darkness. us new recruits. Come sail the open air with the mighty pirate Lachance in the new airship Windbreaker. All men wanted! Oh, sorry. Already part of a crew. Bone Threewood. Just a name drop. Bones Threewood? It's thanks to him me and Copy here look like this. We won't be joining ye. Lachance is our captain now, so ye'd best be on your way. Copy, back to the song. Oh, what will we do with the sunken sailor? What will we do with the sunken sailor? What will we do for the sunken sailor? Crew, go them into a fight. Pirate Rule 81D. If a balloon be popped, the popper must be dropped. Oh, look at you, greedy. Eh, who cares about some stupid toy balloons? Oh, it's a dire day when the pirate crew must be ignored. We need to be getting their attention for real. Up the windbreaker's balloon! We sail, men wanted, we sail. Oh. <laughs> Down to the dry depths with ye! God, they blew up Lachance's ship! My best breaches were on there! Your recruits, show these mean elbowed timber shiverers what your heads are made of! <laughs> Be consumed! Oh, he's really fucking Copy, stay back! I'll teach these thoughtless trouble kissers a lesson! gets really hurt. We'll join back up with Three Woods crew. <laughs> I have me crew back now for our ship. She be the finest people ever ride on buttery sea. Yeah. Holly, find us the wreck of the Marley Maiden. Find the thing! Find the thing! We've gotten to know each other pretty well in the last few minutes. So here be the tale of woe that brought me down to the depths of what used to be the ocean. Hell yes. Pirate backstory. Great, I'm just gonna tune out for a minute. I was the fiercest pirate captain on the buttery seas. <laughs> I had a fine ship, a loyal crew, and true love. But I lost it all. Wait, that's it? You didn't even explain the curse. Oh, so me pirate backstory be insufficient for ye. Never mind then, ye scurvy cur. <laughs> See, she's got nothing. She always forgets to drop character voice when she's scrambling for a decent motivation. <laughs>
Don't you look feisty! Enough fights. You don't need to pick anymore. Our way is blocked. Darling, <laughs> time to unleash your breaking beak and beak.
lady for parts! We can't get her sailing in this condition! Grab the captain's wheel! Now screw her in tight! <laughs> it's Higgins worth the bosun! You'll have stashed our flag below decks, crew. Fight! Good plundering, crew! Throw her up on the mast and see her dance in the wind! Where's the second mate? Second mate! The Marley's fearsome sword snout. Place in front and center on the bow. I can cast again! She be looking as fine as a lady can look. Over here, we'll raise the Marley Maiden back to fighting shape. For a ship's got a soul as much as any man, and I've been practicing my decrements. Time to get these wooden bones dancing again. Crew, a two. <laughs> raise the bones! Raise the bones! <laughs> Slickest clipper bones can find. Oh, way ho, all hands on deck. She's the Marley Maiden cutting through our grind. Batten down the hatch and rubbing down rope next. She flies. Now, with crew and ship, we can finally get back what was lost. Time to confront the chance. Follow Polly. She'll lead ye to his ship. The Tempest Score. Set sail! Say, that chartreuse bloke called you bloods pre-wood back there. What aren't you telling us? He deserved the <gasps> whole truth. And there's only one way to properly deliver a pirate backstory. A tunnel full of music and elaborately staged vignettes. Yeah! Places, everyone! <laughs> was a love that put to sea and the name of the man is known to me curse took hold my bow said no blow me bony boys blow he drew the skeleton man his song will pull her across the sands one day when our penance is done we'll take our chance and go Together we stormed o'er many a shore, and out to the other we both swore. Why, Charlie was my true one more. Blow me, bony boys, blow. He true the skeleton man, his song of woe heard across the sands. One day when our penance is done, we'll take our chance and go. Of losing him, dealt with the devil and paid in sin. We gained our years but lost our skin. Blow me, pony boys, blow. Oh, yeah. I got him with the old live forever grift. Works all the time. No shortage of wayward souls clinging to the scraps of fading memories. Jeez, listen to me. I sound like her. <laughs> And his men sunk the Marley Maiden, scattered me crew, and consigned me to oblivion. There's the truth. It was my fault we were cursed. So it falls on me, bony shoulders, to make things right. He true the skeleton man, his song of woe across the sands. All day when my penance is done, I'll take my chance and go. Tempest scorn be not far. Follow Polly, crew. We're off to set things right.
Peacemaker walks the land, trying to mend what was broken. Every step reveals another lost hope. The task seems insurmountable, but a hero must keep moving forward. This be it, crew! Beyond that wall lies the Tempest Scorn! Let's batten down some hatches and shiver some timbers! Fire! Chance's ship. Where? He'll be expecting us now. By my long gone fear, he really has been recruited. Crew, prepare to blast those bunks to the 17 seas! Hada! I can spend the rest of our deaths making it up to ye. All I need is a la chance. Damn your pirate wiles, Threewood. Me heart be always yours. I accept. Sorry, crew. No room for the living on this vessel. But I reckon this won't be the last we see of each other. After all, you're the fate maker, and fate brings us together. You'll find the key to the Nurpin Gate in my hidden booty room. You're welcome to plunder it. I found all the treasure I need. Take care of Polly, crew! The boss! Saves the day, la de blah. You really bought into this fate maker crap, haven't you? Well, her little creed is a lie, and she knows it. We all end up alone in the dark. Hey, Fred, <laughs> we're getting all the loot. Aren't you glad we did the pirate quest? Their love was stronger than death, and nothing could keep them apart. Are you crying over fictional characters? I didn't know that was possible on... Like several levels. You tell anyone, and I'm putting engine coolant in your breakfast cereal. 
Brett, you may literally have a cold metal shell, but somewhere deep inside you, there's a soft center. You're like an emotional soup can without a label. Who knows what kind of gooey goodness is in there? Well, that fixed me. I'm back to hating people. Darkest abyss lies. Ahead. <laughs> 